Welcome to our session four of our second workshop on conditional indirect effects. This time we'll be talking about second stage moderated mediation. Uh, and the agenda for today is pretty simple. We'll learn how to theorize and test for second stage moderated mediation models. Um, so the difference between first stage and second stage models is the position of our moderator. In first stage models, the moderator is placed in the first path, the path between uh, our independent variable and our mediator. So we are looking for the interaction term of our independent variable and moderator and its effects on our mediator. On stage two models, we are looking at the effects uh, on the second path, these interactive effects on the second path or the path between our mediator and our dependent variable. We are looking for the interaction term between our mediator and our moderator and its effects on the dependent variable. So with second stage moderations uh, or second stage moderated mediation models, the moderating effect will happen between the mediator and the dependent variable. Is that clear? So one example that we ha have for you here, which is different from the examples that we have been using so far, is uh, a paper that was published at Journal of Management in which we look at, at the relationship between psychological meaningfulness and engagement via anticipated job fit. And we theorized that anticipated job fit would interact with organization identification to predict job engagement. If you want to learn more about this model, just download the paper and you can read how we conduct the analysis. Um, so how do we theorize about uh, second stage moderated mediation models? So the first step is pretty similar to the first step of our first stage moderated mediation models. We needed to show that the indirect effect is significant, so, and we needed to theorize about that indirect effect. So we theorize about the effects of, in the, of the independent variable on the dependent variable via the mediator. The next step is a little bit different. We look at the relationship between our mediator and our dependent variable and how that relationship changes based on the values of the moderator. Remember, this is the second step or the second path in our mediation model. is the path between the mediator and the dependent variable that changes based on the values, based on the values of our moderator. And finally, you theorize the whole model. You theorize that the indirect effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable via the mediator changes based on the value of your moderator. Or put differently, this indirect effect is a function of your moderator. I want you to get familiar with this language because probably you hear this language over and over and over again. Okay? is a function of. Usually we use that term to talk about moderations. How do we test for that per, for, for these second stage models? Uh, initial, the first step, the first thing that you need to do is to conduct a mediation model test. Okay? And uh, that's very similar to what we did in the past. It's very similar to how we conduct an indirect effect model analysis, um, and we covered that in one of our prior sessions. And then we do uh, a, a test, a traditional test, of the, of the moderation of the mediator and the moderator on the dependent variable. Then we look at the process models. Uh, I would recommend you to adopt model number 15 in this case, and I will explain that to you in a bit. Okay? Model 14 and 15 are pretty similar. Let's stick with 15. I will explain that to you pretty soon. And then uh, we conduct bootstrapping analysis. And 
The reason is we needed to see if those indirect effects vary the strength or the direction of those indirect, indirect effects change based on different levels of the moderator. And finally, we will take a look at the index of moderated mediation. Let's do it. Let's run this model. Let's conduct this analysis. Uh, and the model that we'll be running here, um, we have job meaningfulness having an indirect effect on job performance via engagement. And the relationship between engagement and performance is moderated by task complexity. That's the model that we are running. The first step is to look for the mediation and the test for the mediation model. Um, go to process, and how do you get there? Go to analyze, and then once you are in the analyze option, go to regression, and then click on process. Uh, once you did that, click and select the correct model. It's model number four, because we are doing, we are running a mediation model. Uh, and then you enter your variables. You have task performance or job performance as your independent or your dependent variable. You have meaningfulness as your independent variable and engagement as your mediator. Go to options, uh, ask for the total effect model, and once you do that, just click on OK. I'm not showing to you uh, the output for a mediation model because I've already done that in a different session. Please go back to the mediation session if you have questions on how to interpret the output. And now we run a moderation model and we look at the interaction or the interaction term and the interaction term is the multiplication of engagement, the engagement variable and the task complexity variable. You look at that term, and if that term predicts performance. And how do we do that? Again, go to process. Um, don't forget to select model number one, because now it's a moderation model. And instead of having uh, job engagement as your mediator, you have job engagement as your independent variable, and you have task complexity as your moderator. Don't forget to mean center, and don't forget to get the matrix or the covariance matrix. Uh, the covariance matrix is important because you need to plot the interaction term and you will get the coefficients for plotting and conducting a simple slope analysis from this matrix. Now it's time to click on OK, and uh, you will get the output. Once more, I'm not covering all the output part here because we did already in an, a different session. Again, go back and watch that session on moderation if you have questions about how to interpret the output. So now we have to run model 15. And model 15 will give us the output for interpreting or for testing uh, this conditional indirect effect, especially for second stage moderated mediation models. Uh, don't forget to select model 15. And in one of the slides that I covered, I entered model 14 or model 15. Why model 15 and not model 14? Uh, both models will give you the interaction term um, of the mediator and the um, um, moderator and the effects on the dependent variable. But what is different from model 14 and model 15 is that with model 15, you control, you partial out the variance of the interaction term between your independent variable and your moderator on the dependent variable. That's important. That's a more conservative test. You should be uh, conducting model 15 if you are conducting second stage models. Another important piece of information here is that for model 15, your moderator goes to moderator V place. You remember for model eight, when we are conducting first stage uh, models, uh, our moderator goes to the moderator, moderator W 
space. Here is V. Don't forget that. If you make a mistake, you'll get an error term. And now, again, don't forget to mean center the products because we we'll, we will have an interaction term and we want to avoid the multicollinearity issues. Um, and once you do that, um, the next step is to click on OK. And now we have the output. So the first thing that you do when you run a process model, you should know now, is to actually check for the model number. And this is model number 15. Um, we do have our dependent variable, independent variable, mediator as engagement, and our moderator is task complexity. If we scroll down the output file, we'll see uh, basically two steps again. Our first step will look at the relationship between our independent variable, job meaningfulness, on job engagement. And here we do find a significant relationship because p is less than 0.05. The second step, we look at the interaction term. And the interaction term uh, that effects on the dependent variable. So here you'll see that we do have two interaction terms because we chose model number 15. And we are controlling for the effects of an interaction term on the dependent variable. Um, interaction term number one is a job engagement and task complexity. And interaction term model two is meaningfulness and top uh, task complexity, the multiplication of those variables. Um, what we want to see is that the interaction term one has a significant relationship with our dependent variable, task performance here. And we do find a significant relationship because p is less than 0.05. Uh, our interaction term number two um, is the control interaction term. And it is not, it's not significant. p is not less than 0.05. The next step, we needed to take a look at the bootstrapping analysis and the outcomes of that analysis. Um, we look at. Uh, this part of the output here, in which we have the mediator. The first part of the output, um, I can also explain to you. This is actually that interaction term number two. Okay, so we are looking at the interaction between our independent variable and, our, and the task complexity on performance. Um, here, we can see that for low levels of task complexity, we do have um, a significant um, um, main effect if we are just considering that term. Okay? But we are not interested in this part of the output. We are interested in this second part of the output because we wanted to see the conditional indirect effect. And uh, the, here we can see that when job engagement is low or the indirect effects of uh, meaningfulness on job performance via engagement is significant only when task complexity is low. So if task complexity is, I mean, high, we can't actually perform well, it, regardless of our engagement level or how much meaningful the job is. That's the theory behind it. Okay? I don't have a strong theoretical rationale here because um, the purpose of this session, this workshop, is to teach you how to conduct uh, uh, conditional ind indirect effect analysis. But vaguely, this is the reasoning behind. Okay? Um, Meaningfulness has an indirect effect on job performance via engagement if task complexity is low or when task complexity is low. The next step is to look at the index of moderated mediation. And we do find that there is no zero in the bootstrapping analysis or in the confidence interval of the bootstrapping analysis for this index of moderated mediation more uh, information or more support for our conditional indirect effect. In this session, we covered second stage moderated mediation models. We described how uh, we 
theorized about these models, and then we analyzed our data set to show how to conduct this particular analysis. If you have questions, go back and watch this session again. Um, thank you.